wanted to show you something. Left the house, I had just hit 150,000 miles on my way into Nashville for my job, but just wanted to kind of share that milestone. Got 150k down, now I got uh, probably about 200,000 more to go, and it'll be time to rebuild this puppy. I don't remember who it was the other day that got it, but uh, somebody got me hungry for uh, gyros or swarmas, and I just had to do it. And it is a beautiful day out today. And even though we're still recovering from the last rain, it's uh, pretty nice out. I'd say it's probably in the 70s here. First off, let me say congratulations to uh, Adam Skaven vlogging life, whichever way you know. Um, yeah. Getting that uh, champion prize partnership is a huge thing. And uh, I know you worked hard for it. And I know out of anybody else that I'm subscribed to, you're probably the one that'll appreciate that the most. Um, but yeah, as far as the the day goes here it's uh it's pretty nice out of course I get in my truck and looking at the thermometer and it can't be right it says 56 but it feels like it's about 70 out of course a lot of that might be the humidity in the air still too but uh yeah I kind of wanted to do a little quick vlog myself and congratulate Adam appropriately he's uh like I said out of all the people I know he's worked the hardest to actually get his partnership so it's it's well deserved spring has sprung all the trees are blooming all the flowers are starting to creep out and all the pollen's hitting like a brick I've been wearing out the Benadryl, which kind of makes me a little bit of a slug. This stuff knocks me right out. But uh, the bad side of it all is now i got to start cutting that doggone grass again. Of course, I've got the uh, old John Deere warmed up. Not surprising, it uh, fired right up, right off the bat works just fine this will be the fifth year or no yeah fifth year that I've got the same battery in that tractor the only thing I do for it is go out every year and or over the winter and crank it up and uh, just not even with it cold just every so often I'll go out and crank the thing up and let it run for a few minutes to charge itself back up and for five years now that's been the same battery I haven't had to do a thing to it that John Deere tractor is actually a little bit of a, a success we actually got that tractor for free the only money I put into it at all is the parts that either I've broken off of it or the battery itself or belts um, and now I've got one that I'm trying to put back together but I don't have any of the parts that I need to do it with so it's going to be interesting I don't like cobbling things together I like it to be just like it's supposed to be once everything's reassembled but I got that uh, 20 horsepower Cub Cadet. Um, it was originally a 24 horse, but an old fella tried to um, tried to tell me that it was 
it just needed to be re, um, reassembled with the 20 horse and it should still work just fine. I'm just happy to have something that's actually um, actually over 16 horse because I've never had anything that's over 16 horsepower out there on that uh, on my property. And it's something that may actually last a little better, do a little better job. But uh, I gotta get the, the bolts and everything to bolt, bolt the engine back down. I've gotta get a new drive pulley for it. Uh, if any of you have anything like that or you know of anywhere you can get it cheap enough, because um, I've been looking for it online and the parts are just really scarce for anything Cub Cadet. Evidently that's something that you just literally got to live at the Cub Cadet dealership and hand them your life savings. But uh, I need the main drive pulley for it and... the drive belt I need for it also as well as the the bolts to mount it to the um, to the deck and then I'll have that one going that one I'm really trying to get going because it's got a 50 inch deck and for the last five years I haven't cut with anything larger than a 38 inch deck that's not that great big of a difference overall but uh, it makes a huge difference time wise when you're um, trying to get everything knocked out but anyway uh, if y'all know of anything let me know because um, like I said I'm trying to get it all get it all working here this is springtime and I've got to kind of do the crunch time thing and get it all working in between the, the rainstorms that you see are kind of prevalent here this time of year but yeah if you got anything to help me out with let me know I'd certainly appreciate it all right I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here um, First, I'd like to say, once again, congratulations to Adam of Vlogging Life for uh, making partner. I know that's got to be really satisfying, all the work you put into everything. Um, also, if, if you do happen to know where I can get a uh, drive gear for that um, Cub Cadet 1024, um, I'd appreciate any any links I can get because everywhere I've checked it's been one of those things where you, you hunt and hunt and hunt and not really find anything um, it is a 20 horse Briggs that's on it it was a 24 horse Briggs that was on it um, but it's a good running motor I just need to get the uh, drive gear for it so that I can actually use the thing um, thanks for watching my cobbled together vlog um, had a few little things that I'd filmed and didn't really have a whole video that I could put them in so I kinda just crammed everything into this one um, but stay tuned I've got some other things in the working right now that'll probably make for some pretty good video but uh, thanks again for watching and I will talk to you soon